this is Larry Zorro for True Talk. Today we're going to be doing a little gardening. I'm going to show you how to make a super digger. Super digger with serrated edges. It's, it's only good for not hard ground, but well, very well compost ground. This is my potato bed from last year. It had bales and bales of hay mixed into it. Now that they're decomposed, and uh, just basically, what do I want to grow? I could grow some strawberries this year, but my super digger is going to help me. I just plan out where I want to grow something, and I just twist it around. What you could do is drill and have a handle on it if you like. I don't really need to. This soil is so so nice. Then you pull it out, get out some of that excess. If you want to dig it a little deeper, you can. Just kind of twist it around. Yeah, here's some old bell or string and uh, keep twisting it down and there you go you don't even have to bend over with your little shovel to dig a hole Okay, what you want to do is lay your little hacksaw, kind of, kind of lay it flat on the place you want to cut. And then, as you get a good start, just tilt your hacksaw until you get a nice, nice cut. And you want to do the other one. You can guide it with your thumb if you like when you start out. And do the same thing. And you just got to reposition it on the other side. Kind of go flat again and get a, get a start. Sometimes a thumb will help you to start it. And then just go, once it's started, straight down. There you go. And straight down. And there you go. As you see, I'm almost done. I think there's some twine. And that might be another good use. A twine remover, because you bury your hay with the with the uh, the twine on the hay. Uh -oh. Maybe uh, maybe I'm getting into some potatoes. Whoa, you like a nice potato? Grew too many in this one spot. At least now you know. Hey, I can grow. I'll probably take those in, make some French fries. Looks like something's under there. I wonder if there's another potato. There we go. Oh, that's deep enough. Deep enough for strawberries. Let me give you a closer look. And if you can see those holes I've dug. Boy, this is winter time and it's a nice time to do gardening. Well, here's one. I don't know if you can see me, but here I have the outline of my potato bed, I put some bales of hay, and they're probably soiled by now. Here we go. Let's see how well it does. Do one of these. Wow! Sit, cutting through. 
Oh, twine. I do feel it this time. I thought I did. Oh, there it is. It's a good, good thing to find twine with. Okay, start again. There we go. A nice deep hole. More twine. But anyway, it's good to remove your old twine. I lost my hole. I have to dig another one. There it is. And there we go. Nice place to grow something. Oh, I just can't stop. It's a lot of fun. Well, it will make a good twine remover, I know that. Snags up that twine. Oh, uh, something's down there. I'm sure I felt something. Might be a potato. Well, just use your hand after you, if you have to, you can use your hand and just kind of scoop it out. There you go. It's all done. Well, this is Larry Zorro with my twine from last year and my new little digger. You might like to do it that way. It makes nice clean holes for planting. Well, this is Larry Zorro for True Talk. Happy bailing.